Is it true that Asians are good at studying? Oh, whoa. Oh. Cool, cool. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Why not? Well, I think it's true because Asians do start studying from a younger age compared to Westerners. That's what I think. Mm. No offense, but that's what I think. So I think that's why um, Asians get more good grades, like statistically. Uh, when I was young, I went to the island and then I went to the like high school. Like in Japan, we like study like math or like anything going like more faster to than like mm. Europe. People, so maybe I think like uh, Asians are good at studying. Also, like we like start in, like so earlier mm -hmm. to study. So that's why maybe in the Philippines we really started at a young age, and then we tried to attend like learning aside beside from school, other learning like hagwon like that, so we can improve our uh, studies. That's why. Actually, uh, Vietnamese people, uh, they are so intelligent, always hardworking. Actually, from uh, since we were young, we obey the rules of school teacher. So I think it also depends on our attitude at studying and working. So that's why I think Asians are good at studying and working also. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, singing. I think about the parents too. I don't know the Asian parents, they yeah, like. Parents. Yeah. yeah. Because Everybody. it's the culture. <laughs> yeah, it's Everybody. the culture. <laughs> I think uh, the big effect is our parents, Asian parents. Yeah. yeah. That's what I want to yeah, talk about. Yeah. I definitely understand like the differences between like, it's just more sort of ingrained in your culture just to start sooner, to work harder, that kind of thing. So Asians are small. Maybe here. <laughs> yeah. Can I have some water? Like, uh, just like take, take, take it right here and. You know. If you talk about the highest, if, if, if let's talk, talk about, about high. Yeah, 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 you know? just high. Yeah, just high. I think. Yeah, let's, I think let's talk about most, high. almost Asian is on the average is more. Yeah. yeah. Right. Do I talk? Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Like my turn. <laughs> Like if you see in the Olympics or if you watch some sport games, like if like other <laughs> Westerners are quite taller than most of the Asians, so that's why I think like that stereotype was made. And so we're talking about heights, right? I know it sounds kind of sexual, but like the woman's breasts or um, the man's um, there. <laughs> I think. Um, not everything's true, but I think it's just, it depends, like case by case. Guys, it's a stereotype for Asians, so please let's not be offensive. Just watch it for fun, please. <laughs> well, Come on. I, I know about Vega. But you know she's so tall. Yeah. 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 That's, that's so, why so. you should speak. <laughs> yeah. This summer I went to Italy for travel, so I went to the beach a lot. Basically, I saw the like the the ass the boob uh, the butt the butt the butt, the butt. The butt. Yeah. The, the European people they seems like like bigger yeah. boobs like they think is a uh, like kind of beauty, but in Asia like it's really hard for us to get that kind of sexy boobs. Even <laughs> even do we like work out a lot, but it's still hard to get that kind of shape. I think it's easier for the European person, a European woman. They have really nice and the, the shape, shape. shape. The, 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 the peach shape. Yeah, I, I really like it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. But also like frame, like the shoulders frame, it's a lot smaller. Aww. And I noticed that when I was like shopping and everything is like free size or size small. In America, I wear like size small, but here it's like very narrow. So like my shoulders don't always fit. So I think just the frame in general does typically tend to be a little bit smaller, but like she was saying, it's totally case by case. Um, there you, you will see like really, really tall or really, really short or, you know, just like anywhere else. I think there is still racism all over the world. Yes. 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 Yeah. Lately, recently, I saw the news uh, in the like America country. Mm -hmm. They have the news about the racist uh, Thai people mm -hmm. in the subway or something. Yeah, they punch. Oh, uh, yeah. Asian, something like that. I saw that. <laughs> so that's why I think they are still racist uh, all the way to the 
So you are surely been a Asian mm. people. And I think uh, the most recent one was because of COVID. Like I know there was a lot of Asian hate. And in the Western countries, I know that a lot of Asian people, they went through a tough time because of racism. I think that still shows that racism is everywhere. Yeah, I think for me, there's still racism all over the world. Even if you're not Asian, even if you're just a person, I think there, because of the stereotype that is happening and also the COVID-19, everyone is experiencing the racism in the world. Yeah. Oh, I definitely think there is still racism all over the world. Um, I know we were talking about in America specifically, it's, it's definitely publicized like more of the racist issues that still happen today. It's, it's truly upsetting, but it's not even just America. It really is all over the world and people are so discriminatory and it's, it's just very out of date and it's completely wrong. So we gotta fix that. The stereotype is that Asians are shy. No. Yes oh. or no? I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> You're pretty shy. <laughs> As I said before, it's case by case. It differs. Yeah, and K-pop, if you watch like some Korean celebrities, they're not that much shy, such as BTS or like Blackpink. They're, you can't tell them that they're shy, right? So um, I think like Asians look shy when they go to other countries because they don't, they, you don't feel confident with their English. So I think that's why they try not to speak. I think that's how that stereotype was made. So yeah, for me, I say yes, but actually I'm not the type that's shy. <laughs> but I can say like almost my friend is a type of shy. Mm. Oh, so that yeah. why, yeah, yeah, like it's case by case that, that you said, but for most of all, I think because of the culture or the, what the reason, but most of my friends, they can't, like they don't have confident if you compare to the European people. Yeah, they, and the sound they talk is so small, like they, they always talk like that. Yeah. Asian are say, yeah, that's true. Uh, like <laughs> Maybe like a different person. And also like in Japan, maybe everyone thinking like Japanese is very shy or something like that. But like I think because of in the Japan, like we have like pride to people or if you go to the like outside, it's just like be like like quiet or something like that. Like for example, like in the like train, we have to like, we're not talking like loud or we're not like talking to phone. Mm -hmm. That's why maybe like a lot of people think about like maybe Japanese is so shy. I disagree, like I, you can't generalize any person like that, right? You can't say all Asians are shy or all Westerners are loud. I just think it sort of depends, but I do think it's a more of a cultural difference. Like I like to compare it via New York subway versus Korean subway, <laughs> right? Like, New York subway, there's people doing anything and everything and they don't really care about being loud and that kind of thing. Um, versus in Korea, it's just sort of like, it's just known, just be quiet, sort of like, you know, mind your space, that kind of thing. So I just think it's a cultural difference about like manners and politeness necessarily. Not saying Westerners aren't polite. I'm just saying, like in general, I think maybe that's kind of where the stereotype comes from is like, I, at least in my experience, Asian people are typically more mindful of like their space and, you know, if they're bothering others. Not famous. Not, not famous. famous. Not famous. <laughs> I think I'm so cute. Well, I think compared to the US, then yes, Asian cultures are not that famous. Well, I know that BTS, Blackpink, K pop, Squid Game, I know it's famous, but I think that's that was a start of the people's interest. Mm. So it wasn't that famous, but now they're kind of interested. They want to see it, but like they thought chopsticks were kind of like bad things to use while you eat. I know it's, uh, no offense, but yeah, I think it's just like, we're still starting to let other people know our culture. For me, I'm not gonna talk that Asian culture is more famous than US. I just think it's getting, I mean, getting well known in this day, because that you say like, uh, Oshigo game, the K-pop, BTS is, Culture, Asian culture, even it's uh, Korean. They know, they all know, they already know about this, and they talk about this all over the world. So I, I think we can compare about this, and also if talk about Thai, 
I think people all know Thai food, right? Is this one of the culture too? Historically speaking, I think that like American culture was really, really well known and just like everyone in the world kind of pays attention, right? But I agree that like Asian cultures are sort of like on the come up in a sense. Um, just like I remember even like scrolling through TV channels in America, there's like TV show like Nihao Kailan, I think, like where they're teaching Chinese and not just Spanish like with Dora anymore. So like I do think it's becoming more popular. I was glad to talk to other Asian girls because I always had to speak like I'm not a representative, but like here as a Korean representative, it was kind of like I was kind of freaking out every time I had to talk about the stereotypes. But I felt kind of companied today. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I had so much fun today, and I really learned a lot from uh, my Asian sisters. So yeah, yeah, it's a really good to know other culture. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, I was so fun and then like, you know, like I get more, know a lot of like Asian culture. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was so nice to meet you guys and then yeah, thank you. Mm. Uh, so today we talk about Asian stereotypes. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe or leave a comment down below. We will see you soon. Bye! Bye.